go again. Travel talk. We're going to talk about Branson, Missouri. These are 10 things that people ask locals here in Branson, Missouri all the time. You can jump on Facebook and visit some groups that are devoted to Branson, Missouri, and you will see these questions asked all the time. So I thought that I would deal with some of them here and then give you an opportunity if you are a local or if you have visited us here in Branson, Missouri, uh, to answer, to offer your suggestions. What do you think? Why should people visit this entertainment destination in Branson, Missouri? I love it. We live here. I think it's the best place on earth, and I don't know that we would want to live anywhere else. In fact, we have considered that. We've talked about that. Should we Should we move to another part of the nation and we keep coming back to Branson, Missouri. And so here we are and let's go top 10 things locals are asked about Branson. Uh, number one, these, these are in no particular order, but number one, here we go. What is the best time to come? Well, the best time to come is any time that it's on season versus off season. We'll talk about that in a moment. And when you are available, if you can pick and choose my favorite time, Amy's favorite time of the year is Christmas time by far. And if you can handle the cold, uh, it's beyond anything that you'll ever experience uh, anywhere at Christmas time. I believe Branson is the number one Christmas de destination in the entire world. It's incredible. It's amazing. Silver Dollar City will blow your mind. It's incredible. The entire city is lit up. Uh, Silver Dollar City is lit up in in just millions of lights, and the shows are remarkable. Broadway level shows and amazing. And then all of Branson is lit up, and there's Christmas shows, and uh, there's there's uh, lights, and you can drive your car through through light displays. And man, there's just so much to do uh, at Christmas. And then of course, summertime is a great time to come and uh, uh, it's just, it's beautiful. You can go to the lakes and fish and swim and uh, tube or whatever you wanna do there. And nature is just amazing and so, so much to do. So that's the first question, when's the best time to come? Uh, I have to vote for Christmas. All right, next, number two, is there anything to do in the off season? Well, there is, and this question comes up a whole lot on the Facebook groups. You know, what if I wanna come in January, February? Uh, is there anything to do at all? Now, most things tend to be closed, so you do need to you need to be aware of that. So you're thinking about shows. Silver Dollar City is definitely closed. Uh, you know, it's going to be cold out. You know, you're not going to be at the lakes doing anything. Showboat Branson Bell definitely not cruising on the lake, and so uh, a ton of things are definitely closed. A lot of hotels uh, closed, but uh, there are things to do and and if you want to get away and just just you're not worried about all of the crazy attractions and you want to just get away and relax i think it's a great time to come because lodging is much less expensive and you are going to find some things to do there will be some attractions open but it'll be it'll be limited for sure you know i know our business escape rooms they're open axe throwing's open um, you know, I, I, there's going to be a variety of different, uh, maybe some indoor attractions uh, that'll be open. And so it can be more of a, a slower paced, relaxing, let's kind of hang out at the condo and uh, kind of a vacation and let's do one or two or three fun little things. And so, yeah, you can do an off season vacation for sure, but most of the stuff not going to be uh, not going to be open. All right. Next. Is it good for kids? Is it good for kids? We hear this question uh, a ton. And of course, it's great for kids. It's amazing for kids. Branson is the place for kids. And uh, so many different attractions uh, that they would love. You know, everything from, you know, from go-karts to, to uh, you know, Silver Dollar City to, you know, certain shows they would definitely love. And uh, there, there's a lot, a whole, whole lot for them to do. It depends on their ages. Of course, you get into the teenage kind of kind of level and of course i mean it's going to be phenomenal you know you got the little kiddos uh silver dollar city is great for the little kiddos i think a lot of times people think it's not and because that question comes up well what about silver dollar city for the for the little ones you know one two three four five six years old 
and it's remarkably phenomenal. And uh, there's a whole section of the park that's def more than one section of the park that's devoted to the kids. And so, yeah, I mean, they're going to have the time of their lives at Silver Dollar City. Um, then, then you add to that just all of the all of the different fun attractions and mini golf and um, everything that you've got going on here. And the kids, kids love it here. Absolutely. All right. The next one, this comes up uh, uh, quite a bit. And here's the question. What are the best places to eat? And, you know, we have a video that you can uh, check out. Uh, it'll be right up here. There's the card for you. Um, um, some of our favorite places to eat in Branson, Missouri. And, and this is where some of you locals, if you're watching this, you can jump in here. Um, because I realized that, of course, I live here. Uh, I grew up here. I graduated high school here. Uh, but then I moved away for several years. And then we moved back about five years ago. And so there are locals here that they've tried things that we have not tried yet. You know, can't do it all. Uh, you gotta gotta give it time. And oh, and there's another question, by the way. It's a bonus question. Can you do all of Branson in a week? Of course not. Absolutely not. No, you can't. Uh, so there you go. What about? Here's another question. Another bonus. Can you do uh, Silver Dollar City in just one day, or is it better two days? I think it's better two days. And uh, so those are just two little bonus questions for you that uh, maybe that will help because those questions do come up. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so, so some of you locals and, and others, you've just visited here and maybe you stumbled upon a restaurant that you're like, man, that place is amazing. So you, you, you need to chime in, leave some comments down below uh, about any of this video and let us know what you think. But you know, some of our favorite places would be the Keter Center. If you come to Branson, my opinion is you must go to the Keter Center. Uh, it's on the campus of the College of the Ozarks. Uh, right next door, uh, Hollister, Missouri, just, you know, 10 minutes away. And really phenomenal, amazing atmosphere, amazing food, top not notch. And it's just, just, in, it's just incredible. So you, you've got to do that. Uh, we love Center Stage uh, right on the strip on uh, uh, 76 Country Boulevard. And it's, it's just ridiculously good food. Um, but you can add to the list so much and I'm not going to get into all of this this isn't this isn't specifically a a restaurant video but I just want to give you some ideas that yeah there's a lot of good restaurants out here uh, in Branson but but Keter Center Center Stage you got to go to Sugar Leaf go to Sugar Leaf it's a it's a, a bakery and deli kind of a place Vaskin's Deli super good Momo's if you want some uh, sushi love that place uh, noodle 22 we go there I'm just thinking of now I'm thinking of the stuff that we do all the time and and at Silver Dollar City uh, there's great food there as well we love eating at the mine and the mill restaurant and some different places there so yeah lots of great places to eat in Branson all right next next the best attractions now this is interesting this comes up of course all the time it's one of the most popular questions you know what is there to do in Branson and then there's all of the you know, the typical answers, of course, Silver Dollar City. You've got Whitewater, the water park. Um, you've got you've got all of the shows, you know, Titanic Museum. Um, that's an amazing place to go. And but but there's so many different places uh, that you can go. You know, we own uh, th uh, three businesses that in uh, in. Well, of course, we're going to promote them on this YouTube channel. And uh, but it's. You know they're they're five star businesses and people are just just loving uh, our escape rooms, escape code, also uh, the axe game, axe throwing, and uh, Saga's mysteries. Now Saga's mysteries is it is unlike anything you've ever done. Two hours, live actors, hot drinks and sweet treats and mystery, and you're you're moving throughout a thirty two hundred square foot property and you're investigating different rooms and solving puzzles and trying to solve the crime and uh high drama and it's not one of these cheesy campy type of murder mysteries it's not that at all this is this is it's it's more uh it's it's more serious and intense but it's still super fun and so those are some attractions but you've, you there's so much more and so don't just do the obvious you know like silver dollar city or or you know uh, the shows or whatever do them for sure do them but there's a lot more out here in Branson and it would take forever for you to 
accomplish it all. All right, next question related, what is there to do indoors? Well, of course, our three businesses indoors, you know, when it's raining, when it's cold, when it's crazy hot, um, winter time, definitely wanna find something indoors to do. We've got Wonderworks coming to Branson. Uh, we've got a brand new aquarium coming to Branson. You've got, uh, you know, uh, there's there's other escape rooms and axe throwing venues. There's, uh, uh, there's there's loads and loads of different types of things. The Butterfly Palace, you can go in indoors and, you know, help me out everybody, leave some comments. What are some other indoor attractions uh, that, that are superior, superb, phenomenal and amazing? All right, next, what to do outdoors. Outdoors, this could take forever, but you've got to go to Dogwood Canyon. Slam dunk, must do, must go, must visit Dogwood Canyon. Uh, do the tram tour, or you can ride bikes, or you can do a Segway tour. Uh, boy, that place is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Unlike anything you have ever seen, uh, it's put on by Johnny Morris of, of Bass Pro Shops, and boy, oh boy, does that guy know how to put something together. Go there. Also go to Top of the Rock. They've got the golf cart tour. Uh, that goes through a cave and oh man, super fun. Uh, and by the way, Top of the Rock has a great restaurant talking about uh, best places to eat. Great restaurant there. And so those are some outdoor attractions. You've got, of course, hiking all over the place. Of course, you've got the lakes, uh, Lake Tanicomo for trout fishing and Table Rock Lake for um, um, all sorts, you know, bass fishing in, in different different types and also water skiing and boating and you know we love to uh we love to get a pontoon boat during the summer and just spend all day out on that and swimming and uh just great so so in terms of nature in terms of what to do outdoors you know uh, obviously you've got silver dollar city outdoors you know go-kart tracks outdoors uh so much you know most things i guess probably outdoors or, or a whole bunch of them are outdoors um, you know back to indoors of course you've got the shows you can't you can't you can't forget the show, so those are going to be indoors. But um, yeah, there's a lot to do outside. A lot of fun for everybody. Okay, uh, what about what about the best places to stay? There are so many. Uh, I'm gonna I'm going to rely on some of you to leave your comments because we live here and we don't stay at the places typically. Um, um, every now and then we will put together a video, and I'll put the card right up here of of a, an amazing presidential suite. My, my wife stayed there with, she had kind of a girlfriend's kind of, kind of night and uh, just amazing. I mean, two stories, three bedrooms. I mean, over, overlooking the lake, it was amazing. So you've got that uh, Big Cedar Lodge is the place to go. Uh, just if you've never been to Big Cedar, again, it's a Johnny Morris property. You got to go there, got to stay there. Uh, restaurants at Big Cedar, amazing as well. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, there's Chateau on the lake. You've got, um, you know, you've got your, your Hilton down by Branson Landing. A lot of amazing places to stay. And then, of course, you've got vacation rentals, which when we travel, we tend to, we tend to go the vacation rental route quite a bit. So, you know, the Airbnb or whatever. And so there's all sorts of opportunities like that too. So you're, you know, you're not going to be hurting. There's cabins everywhere and just, just a lot of wonderful places to stay in Branson. All right. What is the next one here? What is free or cheap? We do have a video right up here. Free and cheap in Branson, Missouri. I'll let you click on that. I won't go into a whole lot of detail, but there's a lot to do in terms, of course, the nature. Uh, you know, you walk around Branson Landing. Um, you know, there's, there's uh, the fish hatchery. A lot of people recommend the fish hatchery when asked, you know, what to do. You know, you got the dam. Um, so... There's a lot, you know, you can hang out at the lakes, you can go fishing. I guess that's not totally free. You got to get your fishing license, but um, a lot to do that's free or cheap here in Branson, Missouri. And then the last question, people always ask this one, what about the traffic? Now, here is what I recommend. Here's what I recommend, because if you are doing what everybody else is doing, traffic's going to be crazy, but you shouldn't do what everybody else is doing. You shouldn't do that. You should be smarter than that, right? So there are back routes everywhere in Branson. Now remember, we live here. In fact, right now we are um, we're looking. We're actually moving, but right now we live basically on the strip. But we very rarely go on the strip when it's busy. Why? There's back roads everywhere. So there could be 
there could be 50,000 people in town and we are not going to stress about traffic at all because there's back roads. And so we can get pretty much anywhere in Branson in about 10 minutes. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter how many people are here. Typically, typically that's the case. And do you ever have to get on the strip? You do. There's certain attractions, of course, that are right on the strip, but you don't have to go the length of the strip from point A all the way to point Z. You can, you can cut in, you know, somewhere by using back rows and just have to be on the strip for a very short amount of time. And so, so what you're going to do is you're going to get out Google maps and you're just going to look at that thing and you're going to look at, you know, where <laughs> this is what I do whenever I travel somewhere. I don't know. I'm, I'm pulling it out. I'm like, all right, so here's where all the traffic is. I'm just going to get off here. I'm going to go through this neighborhood. I'm going to go down through here and I'm going to cut up ahead. Super easy. And there's these back roads everywhere in Branson, all over the place. So you don't ever have to really stay in traffic. And so just get out your maps and see where all the back roads are and all the neighborhoods and cut through there and you're good to go. And so a lot of, lot, lot of, lot of options there for you. All right. That is all I have for you today. Uh, these are top 10 things that locals are asked about Branson. Uh, what other things are you hearing people ask? What questions do they have? What did I miss? Uh, what what do you what do you think about um, the best places to eat, the best attractions, what to do in the off season, indoor attractions, outdoor attractions? You know what is free and cheap here? You know what 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 are your traffic tips? Uh, you know what about the kids? You know leave all of these comments right down here. And so if you're watching this video, don't click off yet. Check the comments out and see if anybody has any other ideas about this amazing amazing place to visit and live, Branson, Missouri. All right, safe travels, everybody, and we will see you next time.